we address the problem of positioning a robot in range and orientation with respect to a sound source from a binaural system. In the following situation how to approach a sound source by only relying on two microphones? Generally sound localization features in binaural setups are related to the sound direction. This is the case of the interaural time difference or the interaural level difference also known as ITD and ILD. ITD is the time delay between the sound arrival in each microphone while ILD is the ratio of sound level in each microphone. However, several studies showed a relationship between the ILD value and the sound distance perception in human subjects. The ILD varies with the sound distance only for eccentric sound sources. This effect is not observed when the sound source is in the auditory fovea, mathematically. By inferring the sound location from the ILD equation, we obtain a circle. The same ILD can be measured from any position of the sound source on this circle. With an opposite reasoning, we can characterize the area in which the same ILD can be measured for a fixed sound source. We obtain an annulus. The width of this annulus depends on the ILD value. The annulus width increases when the sound source is in front of the microphones while it becomes narrower when the sound source is eccentric. This emphasizes the strong similarity between distance perception in human subjects, and the ILD annulus variation. We exploit this property through a sensor-based control framework, oral servo. This is a closed-loop control that generates a motion to minimize an error between the current ILD measurement and a desired ILD value. This approach is based on ILD variation and can be applied independently on free field microphones or head mounted systems. Indeed, the ILD variation remains the same in both setups. To solve our initial problem, we build a three step control framework. First, we ensure that the sound source is eccentric by generating a motion with a desired ILD so that dissimilar sound levels are measured on the microphones. In the second step, we generate a motion from a desired ILD implying a narrower annulus than the current one. Eventually, we face the sound source by setting the desired ILD so that the same sound level can be measured on both microphones.